So, uh, hey guys, today we're going to be talking about speed running. So, in particular, we're going to be more talking about, or just in general, uh, I guess, content. So, it, if we were doing a challenge, let's say, to speed run to diamond, well, what parameter should we use for time? I, I think the most fair parameter is actually to use the in game time here, and we'll simply use this to calculate how much time you approximately used to do your turn instead of real time. If we do real time, there are a lot of different issues, like for example, matchmaking is something you have to consider, and your opponent's play. If your opponent plays for like 10 minutes or just times you out, that shouldn't negatively affect your speedrun in my opponent, or my opponent shouldn't be able to do that, right? So. There's also the issue, I guess, of if we were to, for example, start playing here, look, uh, normal summon Moyi, or not Moyi, normal summon Ziamen, and then um, when we're cycling through our cards like this, the timer is actually not, like, accurate, necessarily, like, to real time, right? But uh, even if it is uh, not, it's still fine, I, I would say, right? Let's get this here. Game session. Effect. And I have to focus a little bit for this, but yeah. The timer, it actually went from 242 to 243 there. And of course, the, this not quite accurate. In fact, it did jump from 239 to 240 right there. Like, alright, I guess. Then here, I guess we would do this, and this. And then... I I I've been talking for a while, so I guess I'll finish this up real fast, this combo. And l l let's see how long that takes. So, right now, I'm at about a minute or so. I think this is marginally better right now, right? This deck doesn't have anything funky here. Fracture Akusai. Effect. We can search I guess Wagon here, and that should be fine. And we'll cycle our deck a little bit more, I guess. And that, that that took a little longer than expected, but there's also the matter of, like, our opponents having triggers or not, and those triggers taking, like, time as well. Like, if our opponent has a trigger, it will end up taking... Uh, some of our time. That, that's just something that will happen. Without a doubt. Okay. Here, now we can just equip this. Effect of Bolt Iron. But we send specifically the Field Spell or... What? Field Spell, I guess, is fine? It doesn't really matter. We already have a charge, so we can just charge now. Oh yeah, 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 the, this is for sure better. Okay. Lily Borea. Draw two. Gnarly. Add Regulus. Then we can even do, uh... Baron. Effect. To put this into the graveyard. And also, we can technically grab, or rather send Foom, then equip Foom onto a uh, Regulus. Pretty solid end board, gotta say. This took 
essentially like uh, a minute and then we get time back but we can account for this time because the time is consistent you get 30 seconds here and then we'll get 60 seconds after uh the turn uh, uh the we go to the next turn anyways right so let's see and turn now we go from 187 to whatever 186 to 247 so we gain like a minute's worth of time. So we can account for this. This is 90 seconds. We just subtract 90 and that's how much time we would use. Uh, assuming like the, the duel is now over, right? So, uh, uh, fig find these buttons. Okay. Boom, 236, subtract 90 seconds. And th there we go. That, that would be our time and we can just keep track of this and kind of just add this up overall and this makes sense so this is a, a little bit more annoying to keep track of honestly but for challenges and stuff i think using this time is going to be more logical and it's more interesting because the time will be a smaller number and smaller number means less time so if we're thinking about just like that kind of thing that this helps like a lot and there's like connection issues and whatnot as well which are also like a little bit problematic. So for like speedrunning, I think it it makes sense to just use um, game time rather than real time. Whenever we're at least doing PvP, when we're doing, if we were to be doing something PvE or something else, I don't know. Real time kind of makes sense. It just kind of depends. But uh, yeah. That's mostly what I wanted to talk about here today. And in terms of like just speedrunning, like if I were to speedrun to masters while using in game time rather than real time, th there are a lot of things to consider. Like you could technically try going for stun because stun is really fast to play. You only need like two or three seconds. Like even if you're going a little bit slow, I think, to play out your turns. And that that would probably rack up, except that the issue with playing stun is you're going to take like a lot of real time. So uh, there is that issue if we're thinking, if we're considering that, right? Like if I am playing stun, I'm just going to normal summon, let's say Fossil Dyna, and then I will flip like Tikaboo or something. Like, just flip over me floodgates, I can turn chain off, or I, I can just flip everything over, and then uh, that's it. N nothing's gonna happen, right? We could do Synchro Zone as well, because yeah, I don't think uh, Synchro Summon Monster is going to be able to hit the field or whatever. Because Fossil Dia. And, uh, yeah, that, that would take no, no game time, but the, that would take a lot more real time so in situations like that I, I guess real time makes more sense but if we're playing like combo deck it favors us a lot more if we're just using our own timer here and going by that so so kind of situational to exactly what we're doing if we were doing something for like climbing ladder uh it kind of makes sense to do a mixture of both depending on what type of deck you're playing but yeah, it's always an option, I guess, to calc in-game time versus real time. For like in-game time, you're not really going to be using much of your time on stun because you're just going to flip all your floodgates and then that that's your entire everything done. Now all you're going to do is attack with your monsters. And yeah, using in-game time, you might use up to like, let's say 30 seconds here and that might be uh, about it but just to set up like a combo for example you would take like usually about a minute if you include like uh getting hand trapped so therion is on the longer side like therion punk and therion whatever this is on the longer side of um combos i guess if we're doing something else like unchained or sprite that is uh, about the same speed or a little bit faster having all those inherent summons actually does help out and it makes the 
deck like play a, a tiny bit faster i think so that, that's beneficial i guess like assuming we're not we're like just essentially pressing the buttons and going through the line as fast as like humanly possible that that's also like consideration i guess like taking time to think you can actually think about your next step as the animation is going through so that feels a little bit less punishing i guess well it's not super punishing i guess but yeah kind of have a lot of thoughts on this but they're not really organized right now i guess so in game time or real time uh what are your guys' opinions on this? Because uh, I think that just in general, maybe not like for every single situation, right? Real time is going to be not as good as in game time. The main thing I'm going to super care about here is mostly about our opponent here. That That is the primary benefit of using in game time versus real time is our opponent's turns shouldn't cut into our own turns. And we don't have control over that, but we do have more control over our own game time. So simply for like speedruns, I don't think like stun would be that exciting anyway. So probably no one is going to do speedrunning with stun, right? D don't answer that actually. Do, do I really want to know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I guess not. But yeah. Getting timed out, our opponent like not scooping because they don't realize they've lost for reason A or B, whatever. Like, if we have Tyrion King Regulus, Varen de Floor, and I have, like, hands, and I don't negate literally air with both of my Omnis, and even if I do, you still would have to play through some stuff, unless you have, like, a board breaker. Like, uh, I can just summon Amazing Dragon. I have, like, back rows still that do things. So, yeah. That's all I got for you guys today, and I'll, uh, See you guys in the next video. Bye.